Hello, how are you guys? I'm going to start this update with some good news. Airfares to go down in September, mas magmumura po yung ticket packet. Travelers planning to book their tickets for next month can expect the ticket prices to go down. Why? Well, thanks to CAB. There is an advisory by the Civil Severonautics Board of the Philippines about the fuel surcharge po. Reflect the latest decline in the price of jet fuel. Yan, maraming rollback ng oil prices, right? So with the fuel surcharge level 9, domestic flights, the surcharge could be around 287 pesos up to 839. For international flights, Fuel surcharge level 9 could be from 947 to 7,000. Of course, that depends on the airline and that depends on the duration of the flight, no? long haul flights, higher fuel surcharge. Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia welcome this lowering of fuel surcharge as it will ease the burden, the financial burden to travelers and it will encourage more people to travel. There is a travel revenge going on in the Philippines. People are traveling again all around the world, not just the Philippines. PAL, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia vowed to conform with the CAB order to adjust their ticket prices in line with the new directive. Yeah, and according to PAL, the new fuel surcharge rates will be applicable to tickets that will be purchased in September. Ayun, kung nakabili na po kayo ng ticket, yun na po yun. But good news for those who will be just purchasing their ticket for next month. Ayan, at least for fuel surcharge, you can expect lower. At least naman, makakamura kayo kahit ng konti. That's the good news. Now, moving forward, yesterday we talked about Philippines is high risk. CDC, the US CDC, classified us as a high risk level 3 for COVID because of resurgence, no? And what is the reaction of the Department of Health on that? The Department of Health says, okay, understandable, nothing changed. Department of Health under Secretary and Office in Charge Maria Rosario Berheri said it last Wednesday that the travel ad advisory released by CDC is aligned with that of the country. CDC's advice for travelers in making sure that they should be up to date with their COVID-19 vaccines before going to the Philippines is already part of our travel protocols. You guys know that if you have a booster, you're exempted from pre-departure testing. If you're fully vaccinated, no quarantine upon arrival, diba? According to Secretary Verhere, officer in charge, we do not admit foreigners who are unvaccinated because we know the importance of vaccinations to prevent severe infections. So the CDC's travel guidelines is aligned with us. It doesn't have any difference at all for us. Oh, I don't think um, it hasn't been more clear than ever. Unvaccinated foreigners are not allowed. I'm sorry. I know you've heard of stories, comments, experiences of many, like our um, very own The Philippine Experience and an avid subscriber. Hi. He says, I am unvaccinated and entered Philippines by flying directly into Cebu last July 26. They have a process there set up to receive unvaccinated foreigners. Same with Adam, our subscriber who entered through Cebu. He underwent quarantine. So yes, unvaccinated foreigners have entered the country through Cebu. How? They were lucky. Their airline accepted them. Their airline acknowledged the executive order of Governor Gwen accepting unvaccinated foreigner. But again, it's a hit or miss. There is really no exact formula. It just depends on your airline, the person at the check-in counter. If they accept the unvaccinated foreigner to Cebu, then congratulations. But if you're going through this path, only go through Cebu. Cebu is the only airport that accepts unvaccinated foreigners. I know a lot of you are tired hearing about travel restrictions. I read your comments. I know you want to get rid of One Health Pass, quarantine testing. Just one follower said the required registration for One Health, One Health Pass will be eliminated from the protocols. I hope that will happen. 
since it is an added burden to our people, especially to some of our senior citizens who are not tech savvy. I agree with you. One Health Pass shouldn't be mandatory. One Health Pass shouldn't be a thing that is required upon check and I mean if you don't have it you should still be accepted and be allowed to do it upon arrival especially for senior citizens or distressed Filipinos coming home they may not be tech savvy they may not be aware of it na kailangan ng one health pass well speaking of restrictions maybe it's not gonna end soon unvaccinated foreigners maybe you still have to wait a little longer According to the president, he is eyeing the extension of state of public health emergency. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. on Wednesday said he is considering extending the validity of the state of emergency amid the coronavirus pandemic. So the state of calamity for COVID has been extended three times by then President um, Duterte and its validity is until September 12, 2022, unless the current president extends it. According to President Mar Bongbong Marcos Jr., we're discussing it with Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verhere because the international medical community is extending a lot of help when a country is under a state of emergency. If we stop that, the assistance will stop too. So maybe we will extend it until the end of the year. You heard it. It's all the Philippines wants. Well, we need assistance. I think the president focuses more on getting that help. Um, if they are going to change it, they're looking at amending the law in terms of procurement of vaccines. We talked about yesterday how there are more than 20 million doses that has expired. COVID-19 doses expired, 20 million of them because no, not a lot of people are getting vaccinated, not a lot of people are getting boosted. But uh, with that, it will take time if they change the procurement process. So malamang, so maybe, he said he will extend it until the end of the year. The Department of Health warned that if, if the Philippines the Philippines lift the state of calamity, it would affect the emergency use of the COVID-19 vaccines, the medicines, and also the benefits enjoyed by healthcare workers. Ah, yun lang. Well, quick summary. Good news, um, fuel surcharge will be cheaper. You can expect ticket prices to a little bit lower. Second, well, USCCDC's travel advisory is not a surprise to the Philippines, so there's no need to panic, guys. I think the Department of Health is saying that, that we've got this covered. Last, uh, state of emergency, calamity may be extended. So let's do a quick rundown on the travel protocols, guys, just to remind everybody. Pre-departure testing, guys. Ito lang yung mga exempted. If you have a booster, exempted ka nang magpa-test. Hindi na kailangan magpa-test kung may booster. 12 to 17 years old, as long as they're fully vaxxed, no need to get tested. 11 to 4 years old, follow lang kung ano yung protocol ng magulang. So kung yung magulang nakasama, may booster, hindi na kailangan ng batang 11 to 4 magpa-test. Then 3 years old pa ba, hindi tita kailangan magpa-test. Hindi kailangan. While well, all passengers, regardless of vaccination status or age or country of origin, whatever, all passengers need to register to One Health Pass. There is no exemption to that. So please only go to the official government website, onehealthpass.com.ph. Still, uh, some travelers report paying for One Health Pass, going to the wrong website. No. Only go to this website, guys, onehealthpass.com.ph, okay? When to register if you have a booster within three days before your departure. If you don't have a booster after you receive your negative test result, mag-register. Unvaccinated within three days before your departure. While unvaccinated, partially vaccinated travelers, Filipinos, ito pa rin yung protocol, kailangan ng test result. Um, pagdating upon arrival, you'll be sent to quarantine. On the fifth day in the quarantine hotel, um, you will be tested for PCR, and if your test result is negative, you can go home. 
If it's positive, your quarantine will be extended to 10 days. Well, this is the pre-departure list for Filipinos. One Health Pass QR code, vaccination proof, at negative test result kung walang booster. Unvaccinated Filipinos, One Health Pass barcode, negative test result, at mga non-OFWs, hindi OFW, kailangan ng pre-book quarantine hotel for 5 nights. Former Filipinos pre-departure list, One Health Pass QR code, vaccination proof, Negative test result if you don't have a booster. And then your old Filipino passport or birth certificate if you have it. For your spouse, for your foreign spouse traveling with you, a marriage certificate. For that foreign child, a birth certificate. For foreign tourists, one health pass QR code. Your vaccination proof. If you don't have a booster, a negative test result, it can either be RT-PCR within 48 hours before departure or an antigen test within 24 hours before departure. So either of the two, PCR or antigen, up to you. And then passport should be more than six months valid or at least six months valid upon arrival in the country. And then a return ticket or an exit ticket to your next port of destination not more than 30 days if you're coming visa free so that is all the update for today guys god bless you all please leave a like on the video let me know what you think and even if we extend our state of calamity as long as the protocols are still the same you can still you can still travel po no quarantine foreigners unvaccinated foreigners i'm sorry but it seems like you would still have to wait a little more before you can be allowed entry you can enter through cebu but you must find an airline that will accept you and will not deny you upon boarding i cannot give an exact list check out uh i've heard a traveler who was denied by singapore airlines unvaccinated foreigner I've heard an unvaccinated foreigner denied by Qatar Airways to Cebu. Uh, how about Korean Air? There's really no assurance. Either you get vaccinated or you wait. Or you risk by traveling now. That's three options. God bless you all. Stay safe. I'll give you more info as soon as I get one.